Hey hey everyone, back with another Chimps guy today. Today we're going to be going back to Flooded Valley Chimps once more. I'm going to show you a really interesting strategy today. The old pack tack zone combo. It got slightly nerfed in patch 33, but it still works a treat for what we need it to do. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the single sub down the bottom. Placements are fairly tight on this one, so try to adhere to it as much as possible. Try to line up the range of the sub with the bottom of the map here. When you have enough money in the middle of round 6, place the sub up the top to catch the final few balloons. But now you can sit back and relax for the next few rounds, as two subs will be enough to save up for Pat. We're going to aim to have him in the middle of the diagonal and down before the end of round 10. From here you'll save up for twin guns on the bottom sub and then afford a buccaneer in the curve in the track. You want this to be in as far into the wall as possible and you'll see why later. Pat roll round 15 when you see the pinks, then work your way up to advanced intel on the sub. Pat roll on round 21, and then buy up airburst arts. Now, you're going to save up for a submerge in support on round 24. It's critical that you unsubmerge your sub after it has decamoed the green balloon, as you need the support from the airburst arts to finish off the last few things. You'll buy up grape shot into hot shot before round 28, then on round 28, you're gonna pat roar immediately. If you don't, things can get a little bit dicey. Pat roar off cooldown on round 31, and you should be good. On round 33, you'll start the round by submerging your sub once more, and then buying reactor as soon as you have the money, which should be pretty much right away. It's smooth sailing all the way up until 40, so upgrade your buccaneer to a destroyer. Come round 40, unsubmerge your submarine, and pat roar when it's in range. Note that you can now submerge your reactor to clean up the extras and keep it submerged for the rest of the run. Now we're going to place down a village down below on the low ground and get the double discount on it. You're going to place down a spike factory inside the walls a little and use the range indicator to have it comfortably in range of the track. Over the next few rounds take the time to upgrade it to a spike balls with even faster production and give its own berserker brew buff with jungle drums too. Again, know you want the alchemist placement to be above the spike balls for reasons down the line. Now we're going to save up into spike mines for round 50. Pat roll the first Moab on 50, then purchase spiked mines. Upgrade the alchemist to a 420. Now we're in it for the long haul. The big save up for carrier flagship. Buy up your aircraft carrier on round 57, pat roar on round 60, and cruise all the way up until round 63. Pat roll the first wave, and you should be chill throughout the rest. Roar again immediately on 64, and then on the large group of mobs on round 71. One last roar on 73 immediately, and now you buy up your flagship. Now the fun stuff. Buy up an ice monkey on the top platform, put it as far in the top right as possible. Don't do what I do here on round 76. Buy up your arctic winds and larger radius before the round and immediately pat roar. Whew, that was a close one. Upgrade it to snowstorm and put a double discount village hugging the right side of the ship with your new ice platform there. Snowstorm on the first wave of 78 and then do it again if you need it. But you won't. Put your next village above your other one, right next to Pad, and get the double discount upgrades as well as primary training. You'll upgrade this to primary mentoring at the end of 79, and get your tax shooter on the top right corner of the bottom platform. The better the placement, the more you'll get out of the tax shooter. Upgrade it to overdrive, and if everything is correct, it will be in range of the alchemist below, Pat Roar, and all of the villagers. The next few rounds are fairly chill. Pat gains a massive power spike at level 13 and 14, so we don't need to worry about that quite yet. You'll save all the way up to attack zone on round 85. You'll need to pat roar on 87 with all the 4 ZOMGs closing in, but it shouldn't really be close. Upgrade your other village to an MIB by round 90 to deal with the DDTs, and get a Moab Glue hugging the track above your primary mentoring village and set it to strong. Now start working towards an overclock on the bottom village. Roar on 92 when all the ZOMGs are close. On round 94, you'll snowstorm the large bunch of ZOMGs to slow them down briefly. It's important that you hold on to roar until they are close enough, have faith that your tax zone can get the job done, and then roar the large group of ZOMGs. After 94, upgrade the engineer to an overclock and prepare a few boomerangs on the far right of the ice platform. These will be Moab presses. On Nairo 95, we will overclock our tax zone, but only once the mobs get close enough. 
upgrade your two boomerangs to 024 presses on strong, upgrade your glue to glue splatter and pat roar on 96 when you feel yourself getting overwhelmed. The mower presses will delay the top ZOMGs enough to let the tack zone ease up the bottom side and then clean up the rest. Get one more mower press up top, make sure that they're all set to strong again, and then get a spike factory in the middle. On 97, let Pat give a big hug to the bottom ZOMG and then clean up the rest. Now round 98 is a toughie. You'll start by overclocking the tack zone once the ZOMGs reach the middle of the aircraft carrier, about there. Then Pat roar once it touches the skull. Even I've done mine a little bit too late here. The key is to not let your tack zone get overwhelmed. If you roar too late, it will leak. Afterwards, upgrade your spike factory to a 240 spike storm. The rest of the money isn't needed, so you can buy up whatever. Maybe you want to upgrade the top sub for once. On round 99, try to snowstorm the largest group of fortified DDTs possible. Do not blow the rest of your cooldown so close to the finish line. Now on the final round, let the BAD go past the second bend, spike storm, then overclock with Pat Roar once it reaches the tack zone. Congratulations, you're done! I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, leave a like, let me know how you did down below, and subscribe to the channel for more. Have a good one.